Colby here with KP Landscaping and Lawn Care and today I want to talk about how to build a bridge over troubled waters. Okay, the other day I was letting my two-year-old and my five-year-old sons watch VeggieTales. Where is God when I am scared? I was in the kitchen doing dishes and it hit me that in business, lawn care, painting, whatever business that you're in, you you come across trials and tribulations and hiccups in your business. And <clears throat> so it made me think of the book of Job in the Bible. Satan came in and was talking to God and said that uh, the only reason Job is so faithful is because you give him everything. Well, I'm not going to get in depth with the Bible and the chapter Job, the book of Job, but God allowed him to allowed Satan to punish Job in a sense. I mean, he killed his livestock and he killed <clears throat> his kid, his family, stripped him from everything, and friends and his wife wanted to sin because they could not understand and grasp what was going on. But Job stayed consistent in believing in God. And at the end, God rewarded him. So, when you, we talk about business, we talk about, especially starting a business, you don't know everything. There's not a book that someone hands you and says, here you go. So when we are in business and things happen for a reason, okay, let's say you underbid a job, okay, where you lost money on it, or a customer doesn't pay you, or equipment breaks down and you don't have money, you don't know what to do. Well, it just, the book of Job reminds me of, of business, and this is why, because when we're starting a business, we don't know that we have to have money in the bank right away you know we're just like okay well we need clients we need customers we need money you know so we can get on the ball of owning a business and if we stay on the track of learning of business okay I'm gonna use an example in, in my business. I did a job and I, I was over $700. Lost it all. Okay, didn't get, didn't get a lick of it. Okay, man, it, it sucked, you know. And here it is winter time and I'm trying to reevaluate my 2017 problems in my business and when it comes down to it it's tweaking it each time a mistake happens you have to look at it you have like what Keith Kelfis says is you got to take your your mind out of your body and look at everything right well it's winter time we don't get a lot of customers in lawn care during the winter because, you know, it slows down. So this is the perfect time to reevaluate and reassess your business. So in 2018, I'm going to have service agreements. I'm going to have people, you know, sign a service agreement and if it's a big job it's going to be a contract because this is my livelihood I'm trying to provide for my family and eventually be able to 
hire employees and be able to provide for other families. And in order for me to do so, I have to look back of all my troubled problems and tweak them every chance I get. And this is why I think of the book of Job. If you continue to stay on the right track and you believe in something that you are working hard to accomplish, you can overcome it by staying consistent. Just like Job did, he stayed consistent with God. I know this is a very unrelated topic, you know, bringing God into business, but I am a firm believer in that you have to have both to be successful. This is Colby with KP Landscaping and Lawn Care. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.